In this video you will learn what is Markdown language, why do we need it and how you can apply it to your everyday needs. So the first question is what is Markdown at all? And actually this is a markup language where we can apply different formatting. And here you might ask, ok, but why do we need it at all? If you will think about writing text, then we really don't have a lot of possibilities to write and format it. For example, we have Microsoft Word, which is the most popular solution to write text. The main problem is that inside Word it is super difficult to format your text correctly. It can be broken at any moment. Also, you can simply take formatting from the Word and paste it to another place. It will be simply broken. The main idea is that Markdown is a special markup language that you can really learn like in a minute and you can use it in different environments. For example, you can simply take your Markdown file that you wrote on one machine and transfer it to another machine and open it in any application that can read Markdown. Or maybe you need to generate HTML file from this Markdown or PDF file. This is all completely possible and it will work really smoothly because it is much safer to use it in comparison to Word for example. Now let's have a look how we will typically write markup. So let's say that I'm writing a post and first of all I need to write some title. For example here we can say this is my first post. And as you can see here we can easily read it, but we see here a hash. And actually if you are familiar with HTML, you know there we have tags, for example from h1 to h5. And obviously if you are writing posts for the website, you might think, ok, I must use HTML here. And actually it is completely wrong, because HTML is difficult to read and support. As you can see here, if we are talking about HTML, we must write here h1 tag and then inside we are writing our post. Then we will have different tags here and it will be really difficult to support. Here we know, ok, we need a title, then we simply put here hash and we have our h1 title. If we need here h2 title, then two hashes, three hashes and so on. This is really easy to remember. After this we simply need to provide some text, for example, let's write mark down here. This is just text, you don't need to learn anything here. But after this at some moment maybe you need to provide a link. If we are talking about HTML again, you need to write the href and it won't be that readable. How we are creating links inside markdown? And here we can simply write here is a link. And let's say that we want to make a link our link. This is why here we just put brackets around and here round brackets with a link. And actually here I put a link to a really nice documentation where you can learn more about Markdown if you are interested in it. So this is how we are creating links inside Markdown. And after this let's add some more text, for example some more text. And now we must provide here an image. And actually you can create an image in exactly the same way like you are creating a link. So here first of all we are writing some text, for example image. And actually it will be our alt text like inside HTML. And here we are providing a link for our image. I will just provide here an image from lorem ipsum and before this I will just put a bang. And actually this is it, it looks exactly the same like a link syntax, but here we put just one bang before to say that this is not just a link, it must be an image. And after this we can simply write more text. So what is important here? We are writing here markdown, but it is completely readable. It is not like we are writing some programming language and nobody can understand it and then it is being compiled to something readable like maybe HTML page. Here we can directly read this text. Yes, we see here like hashes or maybe some syntax like this, but in total you can read this because this is plain text and you can just put this text in any editor and it will work out of the box. For example, here inside Vim I have Markdown Preview and the main idea is that it will generate an HTML page out of the box just with this Markdown. As you can see here is how our post is looking like. First of all here we have our h1 tag, then we have just some text and the link which is obviously a working link which is going to markdown guide and after this we have more text and an image. And the main point that here we have a completely valid HTML without any additional properties or unnecessary text. 
And if you tried some text editors inside website, like for example CK Editor, they are really generating lots of text. And you won't have this problem with Markdown, as you can see here we have just H1, then P tag, P tag, and an image here. So this is completely readable and reusable. But here you might say, ok, it is really difficult to learn Markdown language and Markdown syntax. And here you can just jump in this link that I provided here, this is markdownguide.org, and here is all basic syntax that you need. First of all here we have headlines, then after this we have paragraphs, this is simply just a text. We also have here line breaks, block quotes if we want to, this is just a single symbol. After this we have lists, and lists are really awesome because you don't need to provide any HTML tags, you simply write lists like 1, 2, 3, 4 and you are getting a list. Or you can make a list of bullet points here just with dashes and it will be generated for us. And after this for example we have a code that we can also just escape with these tilde symbols. As you can see this is not a lot to remember. And let's have a look on one of the real files that I have here. And actually here inside I am writing all my notes by using Markdown. And this is extremely efficient because I have them just like plain text without any additional editors, it is working offline, out of the box, until the end of my life. And as you can see here are all posts that I am writing to my YouTube videos. And for example we can open one of these posts and this is how it looks like. First of all here you already know we have a title. After this we have just some text and here inside we want to highlight all these properties like a code. This is why here we have the still the symbols. After this we are using subtitle, this is why here we have two hashes, some text and here as you can see I am providing inside an HTML. And we are just writing here three times tilde and then HTML which is our syntax which will be also highlighted. And here I am just pasting HTML, JavaScript and then I have more and more text, here I have a quote which is also highlighted just by this tag symbol. So as you can see, even if you don't know Markdown, you can still read this code. And now let's check how it looks like in the browser. So here we have a title, then we have the text, and actually all these words, like a code, are highlighted here. Here is our subtitle, then more text, and then our code. And as you can see here I have HTML, TypeScript, and some TypeScript classes. Which actually means everything is highlighted out of the box, and it is really easy to use it. And now your question is for sure, what are use cases of using Markdown at all? And first of all, as I already told you, you can use it for example to write notes. And this is exactly what I have, I have all my notes during last 10 years as Markdown files. And I simply have them inside the Git repository, this is it. I don't need any programs. But if you for example need a program which can support Markdown for writing notes, this is totally fine, there are lots of programs like this. For example one popular program is a beer for macOS and iOS which looks kind of similar to Evernote but inside you can provide Markdown. Second important point is writing anything for the website. For example I'm writing posts for my own website and it is much more comfortable to use here Markdown and then just convert it to HTML on the fly. As you can see here is the post that I showed you previously, here we have a title, then a YouTube video, then we have just text and here we have highlighting of the whole code. And this all is created with Markdown. Another use case for the websites is the usage for static generators. As you can see here for example a jQL is really popular static site generator and it can use markdown files to generate all your web pages. And there are lots of static generators that can do that and it is much easier to create all your pages by using markdown and not HTML. Another use case that you might have, if you are writing lots of text, you can simply write them inside Markdown and you can do it in a special editor which supports Markdown. For example this is the popular solution IA Writer, this is just a Markdown editor which is working in all platforms. And here you can simply write your Markdown and then convert it to HTML, PDF or Microsoft Word. And this is how it looks like. And the last use case that I see is making presentations. And actually you can use something like PowerPoint and you have exactly the same problems like inside Microsoft Word. It is difficult to position elements, you are not sure that it won't be broken and so on and so on. And you can use for example Remark.js which is also powered by Markdown. 
and this is the whole presentation is created by using Markdown, and it is just transpiled to HTML later. As you can see, there are lots of use cases where Markdown really shines. And actually, if you are interested to learn why do you need Prettier for all your projects and how to configure it, make sure to check this video also.